Hello everyone, my name is Mahit Tegolagamu. Uh, today my team and I will be presenting about an alternative to polystyrene lunchboxes. So, what is polystyrene? Polystyrene is a versatile plastic that is used to manufacture a large amount of items such as electronics, uh, toys, appliances and etc. Although it is used to uh, manufacture a large amount of items, they have adverse effects on human health as well as environment. These effects will be addressed shortly. So our aim of this project was to suggest an alternative uh, that can be used instead of polystyrene. So if we look into the raw materials uh, of polystyrene, uh, they are styrene, benzene, crude oil, natural gas and ethylene. And also they are all non-renewable, which means that uh, they cannot be uh, used again. Properties of the products. Uh, these are some properties of polystyrene like uh, lightweight, durable, versatile, rigid and, and also it is an electrical insulator. Uh, polystyrene gets its property of thermal insulating because of the uh, air inside it. Uh, polystyrene is about, has about 95% air inside it which gives the property of lightweight as well. Another important property is that it is non-biodegradable which means that they cannot be broken down in, into a smaller parts. Uh, thus making it a durable uh, item. Thank you. Hello, I'm H. Rasmatle. I'm talking about how polystyrene is made. The raw materials we use are methane, ethane, propane, butane, carbon dioxide, which are used in natural gas production. And with uh, crude oil, they are mixed together to form styrene. And then that styrene is used to produce the polystyrene resin, which is turned into polystyrene foam sheets by a machine. And then that uh, polystyrene foam is molded and cut to form the final product, polystyrene lunch boxes. And the uh, byproducts of this process is CFC, styrene gas, carbon dioxide, and remaining waste polystyrene. The uses and applications of polystyrene. Polystyrene is used in uh, electrical appliances like air conditioners, microwaves, ovens, and blenders due to its inert nature, cost effectiveness and durability. Polystyrene is widely used in food packaging because of its good insulation. And further, polystyrene is uh, used in manufacturing medicinal equipment like petri dishes or tissue culture trays because it's a very versatile material and it's used in uh, packaging of consumer goods due to its lightweight and uh, durability. Polystyrene is also used in uh, roofing walls and refrigerator units due to its uh, very effective insulational properties. Thank you. Thank you, Ampero JRS. Our next slide, two slides are about problems of using polystyrene lunch boxes. There are three ways that styrene can uh, harm us and our environment. The first one is during the extraction, the second one is uh, during the time of usage, and the third one is after the disposal. During the extraction of styrene, it will harm human by hearing loss, fatigue, headaches, etc. And also, it pollutes the air from manufacturing process. Let's move to our next slide. Uh, harms during the time of usage. We can get leaching of styrene and other microplastics. Uh, it's highly inflammable and also it induces many bad sicknesses for users during the time of usage. When we are burning styrene, it releases harmful gases, mainly carbon monoxide. Uh, when we dispose, it will accumulate in the environment and it takes more than 29 weeks to decompose. Uh, and also, styrene can't be recycled. Thank you. Hi, I am Madhuanta. Uh, first, let's see what are the alternatives are available for the polystyrene lunch boxes. And the first one, uh, we can use uh, polylactic acid line papers to make this. Uh, it's a relatively sustainable material, as well as uh, molded fiber lunch boxes, uh, which are sustainable and also it has a uh, low production cost. And the aluminum uh, foil lunch 
boxes uh, with the high heat tolerance also uh, we can use polycoated paper which is environmental uh, friendly and non toxic and especially uh, we can use banana leaves to do this uh, it's also environmental uh, friendly and uh, easy to manufacture and also it it's a uh, sustainable material okay uh, now uh, let's see uh, what is the best alternative that we have proposed we hope to uh, propose as uh, best alternative uh, using the banana leaves combined with paper uh, as the uh, best material for lunch boxes because uh, this is an eco friendly raw material and also uh, it has an eco friendly manufacturing process also uh, this is a biodegradable material uh, after disposal as well as uh, contains antioxidants uh, which give healthy uh, health benefits and finally uh, it has a uh, low production cost hi i am tishan banana leaf lunch box and the polystyrene lunch box have similar properties polystyrene lunch boxes are shock absorbing and moisture resistant and banana leaf alternative has tensile strength and a waterproof coating both are odorless and inert they are both lightweight and have similar insulation properties to conclude our presentation a proposed alternative can easily be implemented in sri lanka with the availability of resources and is a suitable solution to the harm caused by polystyrene During this project our team members gained a lot of knowledge by conducting research documentation presentation and we also built up on our communication and team building skills we faced a few problems during our project like difficulties in gathering resources and information selecting the best alternative so uh, i would like to thank you everybody who contributed for the completion of this project a lecturer in charge of the model and our instructor for helping and guiding us through the entire project during and off workshops and to everybody else who helped us gather information and come up with ideas thank you